Hey everyone, it's Aneta with K-pop Oracles. I'm bringing you another K-pop tarot reading. Today's reading is going to be about the boy group Treasure. We're just going to be doing a little 2022 career prediction reading, okay? Um, but first, let's see, kind of get a sense of how they're feeling about their career right now, all right? So let's see. Let's ask the cards. How's Treasure feeling about their career right now? Temperance. Okay, temperance has to do with a lot with patience and just kind of doing things in moderation. So they're feeling okay. Maybe in the beginning of their career, they felt okay. Things weren't really taking off very quick, as you know, very quickly. So they feel like okay. Um, they and then they kind of had a lot of t uh, they had a lot of patience with themselves and just the process and then. Now they're like their hard work and dedication and their patience is like paying off and you know they're they're feeling they're doing as much as they can to not like attract negative attention because temperance is all about you know just someone who is not like a party animal or anything or do anything like illegal or just get re really effed up at a party or anything so they're trying to do as much as they can to not you know attract negative attention or negativity We have the two of cups here. Hmm. Okay, it seems like they're content with their career in general, like just with their record company, feeling like, okay, this is a, a solid connection right now. Like this partnership that they have with YG is, it seems like for the most part, it's, it's almost like a match made in heaven. And it also feels like, you know, this, just all the members in the group feeling like, okay, um, we all work well together and it's like a great business partnership. Okay, we have the world coming out and we got the page of spears or page of wands. Okay, the world is a sign. In general, they're happy right now. They're feeling really happy, really successful, or they're just thinking, okay, they're gonna keep doing more great you know wonderful things and with the page of spears here page of wands here they're feeling like okay their talents are like really shining they're, that they have a lot to offer they're young they're they're full of energy they're very creative We have the King of Spears, the King of Wands here. That they're feeling like, you know, all eyes are on them. Like they're in a spotlight, and they're feeling like they got a command of it. That's the spotlight of people's attention. Like they're feeling very charismatic, very feeling like, you know, one of the top performers right now in the industry, and they they enjoy it. They enjoy being, doing, you know, K-pop stuff and being an idol, making music. And um, yeah, they're content right now with what they have. We have the Ace of Spears, Eight of Wands here. This has to do with traveling. It can also mean communication as well. So it could be that they're in talks of you know, like in talks of like, you know, planning something, you know, like a maybe a concert or, or world tour of some sort or going places. Like it's, I feel like a lot of, like the, just the members in general, they do want to go somewhere and not just like perform in their home, com home country. They also want to like perform for like fans around the world. So <laughs> that may happen. Okay, so what's gonna happen to their career this year? All right, let's see. We had the nine of coins or nine of pentacles. This is great. So nine of coins, nine of pentacles is, is very independent energy. It can mean that some people, some members of the group may do some solo work 
Okay, and it's going to be a big money maker. Seems like it's, yeah. So some of them are very independent and are wanting to showcase their talents like outside the group, you know? So it seems like they'll do well. We have the lovers here. This can mean partnering up with someone or a group, a collaboration of some sort, and it's gonna be like, almost like a match made in heaven or just like some sort of like a marriage of some sort. So like two great groups or great minds combining forces and making something great. So I feel like they're just trying to figure out whether or not to kind of take this leap of faith. They're kind of like weighing the pros and cons of like working with others, I feel. Six of Spears, Six of Wands. I think they'll gain more recognition this year because it also mean them um, gaining award, winning awards, getting recognized for their talents, their hard work. So it seems like more and more attention is, it's yeah, just coming their way. I think more and more people will, will admire them too. You know, like Khaleesi here in Game of Thrones. with two of coins, two of pentacles. So th it, it, this may be a busy time of the year for them, or I, f I feel like there's just gonna be, there's gonna be some, yeah, I feel like they're just gonna like have multiple comebacks. So there might, might not be a whole lot of peers of rests, or it could also mean them kind of juggling multiple projects at once, like, you know, the group work and also other things. Okay, too many cards. That's gonna happen. Treasure's greatest year. Okay, we have the hermit here. The hermit here. There may be maybe one or two people in the group that maybe feel like, okay, they need some time to themselves. They kind of need to little little R and R. They need some time for, to deal with whatever. They, so there may be some things they may have to deal with and they're going to need some time away from the group with the hermit here. It's just temporary, so it's not like forever, so. It could also mean them seeking guidance from veterans in the industry or um, maybe guidance from like people outside the record company. Because the hermit can mean spiritual advisor, spiritual wisdom. We have the Empress here. The Empress here. I mean, this can be loving, nur nurturing energy. So, again, a sign a sign of their their fandom is. I feel like their their fandom is gonna grow, and also they're gonna gain a, like more love and support, loving, nurturing energy. It could also mean them maybe maybe one or two members, or maybe some of them like maybe just some of the members, um, possibly purchasing a home. <laughs> Or, or having enough money to buy an apartment or a house or some sort and it's yeah <laughs> yeah wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck it's a sign of more travel and more adventure so i think they're gonna go places i think they're gonna possibly have a concerts like in other countries Okay, what else? Oh shoot, this deck, so slippery. Oh, 
Okay, we have Envy popping out. So they may have to deal with some jealousy, okay? Um, there may be people who are like, okay, I kind of wish I had their financial status or like success or I wish I was as big as them. So that's something they may have to deal with. All right, so I guess I'll read them. This is take action, and then we have recognition. This is like that Six of Spirits or Six of Wands card that came out, so I think they'll gain more attention this year. And it seems like overall, I mean, we got this like, what what you call it, some trophy or something of some sort, what do you, um, on, on, like a, on top of like a stack of money. So I think salt, financially they'll do well this year. It seems like it's gonna be really solid. And it seems like they'll may possibly, maybe they'll gain more, more respect, more support. And it could mean them gaining some sort of leadership position, I feel, in the industry. So being seen as leaders and not just like rookies or, um, I, I, I forget which generation they are. I think they're fourth generation. So like they'll be seen as like, almost like veterans, you know, in the industry. And uh, with the take action here card, I feel like there there's some people, some members in the group who want to kind of dip their toes in other like industry or other fields. So I feel like they'll they'll get, they're gonna make things happen. Okay, what else? We have tree, the tree. Okay, I mean, this this has to do with financial growth. So it's, they can expect their finances to be very stable, very good this year. We have chess, chess. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I feel like they're, they're going to be spending a lot of time thinking about their future, kind of figure out, you know, what are some other things I want to do for the rest of my life? And so there's going to be a lot of um, thinking. And I also feel like this could also mean leadership, too. So I feel like, again, they're going to be seen as like, you know, one of the top. The fates, the fates, this, this could have to do with karma. So it could mean, or the past. So maybe perhaps they may have to deal with some issues that occurred in the past. So that's something that they'll be on the lookout for and just deal with it. And we got chaos and conflict at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so they may have to deal with some conflict, um, some difficult moments, okay but it's not the end of the world, I feel. What else? What are some other ish things they have to look, be on the lookout for? Netflix and chill. Okay, this could be, this could have to do with, um, this might have to do with, um, I feel like dating or just romantic rumors like, or you know, romantic, uh, or maybe like people may like ship them with other groups or people in the industry. So that's something they have to look out for. It's just like dating rumors, I feel. Or people, or there could be some, uh, maybe like well-known individuals that they have a really good connection with and then people are gonna like kind of get the wrong idea about them. <laughs> or think that they have some sort of like, I don't know, romantic or sexual chemistry. Extra, okay. 
Okay, so they may have to deal with some people who will try everything that they can to be, um, you know, to get recognition from other people. So they may do something to this group to kind of like get attention, I feel, um, be really, to, so they may have to deal with some like overly dramatic or just people who are just too much and just, so unnecessary drama. Okay, what else? Surrender to prayer. Surrender to prayer. Okay. I mean, this could mean them just kind of trusting themselves more, trusting the universe, having faith that things, whatever issues that come their way will, will be resolved. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. So I feel like they'll, I feel like they'll they'll be spending a lot, you know, spending like paying more attention to themselves, their inner voice more, their body, like knowing when to take breaks, knowing when to take rest, or knowing when to make time for themselves. So I feel like they'll be listening to their gut more. We have surrender. Yeah, just kind of going with the flow of, of things, you know, just not trying not just kind of see where life takes. I'm not trying to control every every moment, you know. Kind of trust the process, trust the universe. Invitation. Yeah, so invitation. So I feel like they'll be a lot uh, invited to a lot of events. I feel this year, maybe just like really well-known, famous um, events could be like award ceremonies or um, maybe talk shows. So that's something that they'll they may receive this year, or to be featured in, into something like you know like a show or um, magazine article, something. Okay, so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Also on Twitter, you can follow me at kpoporcles1 and tumblr kpoporcles.tumblr.com. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye.